Gotta get my, my cord fixed up here, guys. Good morning. My name is Trevor. Welcome back to the Archivet YouTube channel. It is beautiful out here in Kansas. Finally. Finally. Thank you, Jesus. This is amazing. The birds are singing. The bells are ringing. Man. And you know what? It is a really good day today to help somebody smile, to bring some joy into some people's lives because I know... I know for a fact that some people today are having a very, very tough day because one year ago, heaven gained an angel and I, I'm really happy to say that that was my grandpa. And it's really sad to say that too, in a way, because you know, he's not here, but I know he's right up there and he's, he's watching over every single one of us. So today, uh, we're gonna make some people smile. We're gonna, we're gonna bring joy into this kind of this moment so we're gonna start that off by reading our day-by-day -day devotions for dads this book you can get it in the link below so definitely check it out it is an Amazon affiliate link and we do earn a little bit of commission on some of these things it helps the channel it helps it helps us it helps us do more things and I'm hoping soon that we can get to a point where we can actually get enough to fix Miss AV over there because she needs a transmission or something, something. So anyhow, I'm gonna open up this book. We're gonna roll that intro. So today's reads, a few reasonable words one ought every day at least to hear a little song read a good poem see a fine picture and if it were possible to speak a few reasonable words john john wolfgang von Gedith, 1749 to 1832 I would add to the above, Dad, all those things with a child. One of the great joys of being dads is watching our children discover new things. We make a great fuss over the first, their first steps and their first day of school, and rightfully so. But often, it's the small, often overlooked, day-to-day -day moments that can add up to the most satisfying memories. Hearing a clever rhythm rhyme, a clever, a clever, a clever rhyme. <laughs> Stick with me here, sorry. <laughs> a swing to a catchy tune. Noting how one swirl of a paintbrush can draw your eyes across the canvas. Taking the time to articulate a new thought. Pondering an emerging doubt or healthy skepticism discovering the melodic flow of words that form a satisfying poetic meter goeth approximate pronunciation girth girth Goethe 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 okay so it's Goethe was right with the above qu quotation he has pointed out a reasonable list of simple yet profound events that ought to happen every day. These things will not happen without some level of intentionality. If we hit the pillow at night and grunt, same old, same old, we have lost that day. If you have small children at home or even teenagers, be intentional about entering their worlds once a day and sharing a song of praise a song, a phrase, an image, or a thought. They will be better for it, and so will you. What about you? It's a matter of persistent parenting. Starting today, be intentional about sharing something you've discovered with your little ones. The strategy, that strategy comes with a delightful bonus. Before long, they will be discovering things they want to share with you. I can attest to that. It is very true. And to that point, I, I kind of I wanted to make this vlog. I wanted to bring it up 
but I didn't think that today would be the day. But you know what? God's saying, hey, Trevor, today's the day, so let's do it. That point happens to be something that I learned. And I seen this, I seen a video on uh, Facebook, YouTube Reels, or um, YouTube Shorts. I think it was YouTube Shorts. And it said, you know, um, fish, when God goes and talks to the water, He's talking to the water. He, he has fish in there. He put fish in the water. What happens when you take a fish out of the water? Go ahead, drop those comments down below. Well, what happens when you take a fish out of the water is it dies. But the water without a fish is still water. So what, what this short went on to say is that God with man hold on hold on I'm get back up man without God dies man without God dies so what does that mean well that what does it mean I mean really water and fish fish need the water to survive man needs God to live and God blessed us with Jesus to pay our price the price for you and I so that we may have eternal life in heaven with him through Jesus through Jesus and so I told the kids I said hey you know fish live in water right and they need the water what if you take the fish out of the water? What happens? And they all answered, well, it dies. And I said, okay. Now, now imagine this, all right? Man needs God to live. What if man walks away from God? And they were a little confused. They didn't quite understand. But one of them said, he dies? And I said, yes, exactly. Because God blessed us so much and he continues to every single day he sent his one and only son John 3 16 sent his one and only son here to earth for you for me for them for everybody everybody so that one day we may strive to live like Jesus and Jesus becomes our bridge to heaven, to God, to create that relationship with God. So man without God dies. He dies, just like the fish, just like the fish. But man with God, anything is possible. Anything is possible. And I, I know that is a verse in the Bible. I can't pull it out of my head right now, but man, is this amazing. This is amazing. God is amazing. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. This is outstanding. I hope that you guys enjoyed this little video. Not quite what I had in mind for the day, but you know what? This is this is better because this is God's work and it may God's will be done. So smash that thumbs up. Don't forget to click that red subscribe button. We will catch you guys in another video. Another video. Have a great night. God bless. Never give up, God is here with you. Yeah, you are a child, nothing but love is true. This God is fixing you. Keep your eyes on the prize. That's life everlasting, only through Jesus Christ. He came to die.